and then he was, you know, wanted to think. He thought about it, and then he brought some ideas. Now, if I wanted to author a book, will I criticize myself in that book? Okay. You will find Allah in the Quran criticizing Muhammad, peace be upon him, about certain things. Saying to him, when the Prophet he was angry, and a blind man came, and he was angry when he was dealing with, a, with, other, with other, you could say, leaders of Quraysh, and he was angry at them, because what happened from them, and the blind man came, the blind man couldn't see, but Allah saw, and Allah criticized him, why do you show angry face when someone who is a blind man came? Not because of him. If the blind man came, you should turn to him. He has more right than those ones. So if it was the work of Muhammad, peace be upon him, will he be criticized in a book to be recited by at least now, no more than people who memorize the Quran, 15 million people on earth. And each time we recite this chapter saying that Allah said this. Do you think this work of Muhammad? Adding to this, that you'll find Allah Azza wa Jal. People came, hypocrites came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They said to him, we don't want to do this. And he said, it's okay, that's fine. Then Allah criticized him saying to him, Ghafar Allah said, may Allah forgive you. Why did you permit them? So was he criticized about giving permission to people who doesn't deserve the permission? If it's his work, do you think he will be criticized in his own thing, in his own work? No. And adding to this, now what is the last option is what? This book is inspired by who? What we said? The devil, which is totally not. By Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is totally not. By, by the God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Now, does it make sense to you that this Quran was inspired by God, not by Muhammad, not by the devil? Do you accept this? Do you accept now Muhammad is a prophet sent by God? Okay, that means we are on one page. According to this, you belong to Islam. What we have agreed in the beginning? And if we prove this, that means you will be what? Good. So the way to be a Muslim is to testify. There is no one worthy to be worshipped except Allah. Allah in Arabic means the one God. And to testify that Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. And you will be belong to one, to actually two, no problem, to two billion Muslims on earth. All of them, they have the same faith as you. They have exactly the same faith as you. And all of them, they agree on the things that we have agreed upon. Yes? Okay. Let's... The way to become Muslim, we say it in English, and then we'll say it in Arabic. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So repeat after me, sister. Yeah? We'll say it in English, then we'll say it in Arabic, okay? Yeah. I testify. I don't know. What? I don't know. You know. I don't know. You know, sister. Do you know why? Because it's the truth. You know. Because it's the truth. And it makes sense. In your heart, you know it's the truth. In your mind, you know it's the truth. It makes sense, but it's a very big decision to conjure up in such a small space of time. Even though my dad's side of the family is Muslim, it's something that I've always yes. thought about and it's always something that I've deliberated upon. Yes. Which is why we came here, because my friend here is yes. Muslim and he wanted the... Listen, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. Our agreement in the beginning that if it's the truth to be embraced. Yes, we agree with this. I agree. So, the, the truth to be embraced. Now, the other thing, to give you firm, firm in your faith, what you have, what you have agreed. Now, actually, I know you said, you said there's a quick decision. Actually, no, you were, you were born, born knowing that there is one God worthy to be worshipped. You were born equipped to this. You're born for this. That's why people, the Prophet, peace be upon him, told us, that the child is born on natural disposition, believing in the oneness of God. Yeah. But the parents make him Christian, make him Jew, make him pagan, make him do all of these things. That's why you're born having the inclination to believe in the one God. Yes? Yeah. That's how it is. And sister, Islam is not we, we're, it's the same as you, the same sister, Colombia, the same one. But she knows where she stands. 
She knows what's her relation with her Creator. She knows what's her relation with the Prophet and Messengers of God. She knows this. So you know where you belong. You understand? You go back, that's what we call the, the revert. We call the brother who accepted them. We don't call them converts. We call them what? Reverts. You, know, you go back to what you're born with. Does that make sense? So that's how it is. To start. Now, let's do the Shahada together. I testify that there is no one worthy to be worshipped except Allah. And I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Ashhadu, hadu, Allah, ilaha, illa, Allah, wa ashhadu, anna, anna, Muhammadan, Rasulu, Allah. Allah. That's how. It is. Yeah. How do you feel, sister? You, you could give a hug. How do you feel about yourself? Do you know where you belong now? I do. Um, and Islam. I feel more open to talking to my family. Good. Islam is a journey of knowledge. Meaning, this is only a starting point. And I will give you a few glad tidings. Firstly, the Prophet, peace be upon him told us Islam erases all the previous sins. Now you are like a newborn baby with no sins. That's why now you are the best Muslim walking on earth. That's first of all. Yes. So in Islam you start high. Because can you imagine? You have no sins. And not just that, you have reward. The Prophet, peace be upon him, told us anyone who believed in, his, in the previous prophets and believed in me, Allah will reward him or her twice. So you are already being rewarded twice as a true faithful person. Before, which means from the get-go you are, you start high, but you need to maintain it. Yeah? So that's why we are, we are asking you as a sister, supplicate for us, ask God to forgive all of us here. You say, oh Allah, 